Vasistha Sanskrit, Vasistha Iast, Vasistha is one of the oldest and most revered Vedic rishis. He is one of the Saptarishis seven great rishis of India. Vasistha is credited as the chief author of Mandala 7 of Rigveda. Vasistha and his family are mentioned in Rigvedic verse 10.167.4, other Rigvedic mandalas and in many Vedic texts. His ideas have been influential and he was called as the first sage of the Vedanta school of Hindu philosophy by Adi Shankara, Yoga Vasishtha, Vasishtha Samhita, as well as some versions of the Agni Purana and Vishnu Purana are attributed to him. He is the subject of many mythologies, such as him being in possession of the divine cow Kamadhenu and Nandini her child, who could grant anything to their owners. He is famous in Hindu mythologies for his legendary conflicts with sage Vishvamitra. Etymology Vasishtha is also spelled as Vasistha and is Sanskrit for most excellent, best or richest. According to Monier Williams, it is sometimes incorrectly spelt as Vashistha or Vashishtha Vasistha. History In Rigvedic hymn 7.33.9, Vasishtha is described as a scholar who moved across the Indus River to establish his school. He was married to Arundhati, and therefore he was also called Arundhati Nath, meaning the husband of Arundhati. Vasishtha is believed to have lived on the banks of Ganga in modern-day Uttarakhand. Later, this region is believed in the Indian tradition to be the abode of sage Vyasa along with Pandavas, the five brothers of Mahabharata. He is typically described in ancient and medieval Hindu texts as a sage with long flowing hairs that are neatly tied into a bun that is coiled with a tuft to the right, a beard, a handlebar mustache, and a tilak on his forehead. In Buddhist Pali canonical texts such as Diga Nikaya, Tevija Sutta describes a discussion between the Buddha and Vedic scholars of his time. The Buddha names ten rishis, calls them early sages and makers of ancient verses that have been collected and chanted in his era, and among those ten rishi is Vasetha the Pali spelling of Vasishtha in Sanskrit. <laughs> Ideas Vasishtha is the author of the seventh book of the Rigveda, one of its family books, and among the oldest layer of hymns in the Vedic scriptures of Hinduism. The hymns composed by Vasishtha are dedicated to Agni, Indra and other gods, but according to R. N. Dandekar, in a book edited by Michael Witzel, these hymns are particularly significant for four Indravarunau hymns. These have an embedded message of transcending all thoughts of bigotry, suggesting a realistic approach of mutual coordination and harmony between two rival religious ideas by abandoning disputed ideas from each and finding the complementary spiritual core in both. These hymns declare two gods, Indra and Varuna, as equally great. In another hymn, particularly the Rigvedic verse 8.83.9, Vasishtha teaches that the Vedic gods Indra and Varuna are complementary and equally important because one vanquishes the evil by the defeat of enemies in battles, while other sustains the good during peace through socio-ethical laws. The seventh mandala of the Rigveda by Vasishtha is a metaphorical treatise. Vasishtha reappears as a character in Hindu texts, through its history, that explore conciliation between conflicting or opposing ideologies. According to Ellison Findla, a professor of religion, Vasishtha hymns in the Rigveda are among the most intriguing in many ways and influential. Vasishtha emphasizes means to be as important as ends during one's life, encouraging truthfulness, devotion, optimism, family life, sharing one's prosperity with other members of society, among other cultural values. Texts Vasishtha is a revered sage in the Hindu traditions, and like other revered sages, numerous treatises composed in ancient and medieval era are everentially named after him. Some treatises named after him or attributed to him include Vasishtha Samhita is a medieval era yoga text. There is an Agama as well with the same title. Vasishtha Dharma Sutra, an ancient text, and one of the few Dharma-related treatises which has survived into the modern era. This Dharma Sutra forms an independent text and other parts of the Kalpasutra, that is Shratha and Griya sutras are missing. It contains 1,038 sutras. Yoga Vasishtha is a syncretic medieval era text that presents Vedanta and Yoga philosophies. 
It is written in the form of a dialogue between Vasishtha and Prince Rama of Ramayana fame, about the nature of life, human suffering, choices as the nature of life, free will, human creative power and spiritual liberation. Yoga Vasishtha teachings are structured as stories and fables, with a philosophical foundation similar to those found in Advaita Vedanta. The text is also notable for its discussion of yoga. According to Christopher Chappell, a professor of Indic studies specializing in yoga and Indian religions, the Yoga Vasishtha philosophy can be summarized as, "...human effort can be used for self-betterment and that there is no such thing as an external fate imposed by the gods." Agni Purana is attributed to Vasishtha. Vishnu Purana is attributed to Vasishtha along with Rishi Palatsya. He has also contributed to many Vedic hymns and is seen as the arranger of Vedas during Dwapara Yuga. Mythology According to Agarwal, one mythical legend states that Vasishtha wanted to commit suicide by falling into river Sarasvati. But the river prevented this sacrilege by splitting into hundreds of shallow channels. This story, states Agarwal, may have very ancient roots, where the early man observed the braiding process of the satluj, and because such a legend could not have invented without the residents observing an ancient river in Rajasthan drying up and its tributaries such as Sutlej reflowing to merge into Indus River. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Rivalry with Vishwamitra. Vishistha is best known for his feud with Vishwamitra. The king Vishwamitra coveted Vishistha's divine cow Nandini that could fulfill material desires. Vishistha destroyed Vishwamitra's army and sons. Vishwamitra acquired weapons from Lord Shiva and incinerated Vishistha's hermitage and sons, but Vishistha baffled all of Vishwamitra's weapons. Vishwamitra betook severe penances for thousands of years and became a Brahmarshi. He even reconciled with Vishistha. Disciples Vashistha is best known as the priest and preceptor of the Ikshvaku kings. He was also the preceptor of Manu, the progenitor of Kshatriyas and Ikshvaku's father. Other characters like Nahusha, Rantadeva and Bhishma were his disciples. When the Bharata king Samvarta lost his kingdom to the Panchalas, he became the disciple of Vashistha. Under Vashistha's guidance, Samvarta regained his kingdom and became the ruler of the earth. The Vasishtha head A copper casting of a human head styled in the manner described for Vasishtha was discovered in 1958 in Delhi. This piece has been dated to around 3700 BCE, plus minus 800 years, in three Western universities Ed Zurich, Stanford and UC using among other methods carbon-14 dating tests, spectrographic analysis, X-ray dispersal analysis and metallography. This piece is called Vasishtha Head because the features, hairstyle, tilak and other features of the casting resembles the description for Vasishtha in Hindu texts. The significance of Vasishtha Head is unclear because it was not found at an archaeological site, but in open Delhi market where it was scheduled to be remelted. Further the head had an inscription of Narayana, suggesting that the item was produced in a much later millennium. The item, states Edwin Bryant, likely was recast and produced from an ancient pre-2800 BCE copper item that left significant traces of matter with the observed C14 dating. <laughs> Vasishtha temples There is an ashram dedicated to Vasishtha in Guwahati, India. This ashram is situated close to Assam Meghalaya border to the south of Guwahati city and is a major tourist attraction of Guwahati. Vasishtha Temple is situated in Vashisht village, Himachal Pradesh. Vasishtha Cave, a cave on the banks of Ganges River at Shizpuri, 18 km from Rishikesh is also locally believed to be his winter abode and houses a Shiva temple, also nearby is Arundhati Cave. Guru Vasishtha is also the primary deity at Aratupuza temple known as Aratupuza Shri Dharmasastha in Aratupuza village in Thrissur district of Kerala. The famous Aratupuza Puram is a yearly celebration where Shri Rama comes from the Thripriyar temple to pay obeisance to his guru at Aratupuza temple. See also Agastya Aruni 
ATRI Kashyapa Topic Notes Topic References Topic Bibliography Chapel, Christopher. 1984. Introduction. The Concise Yoga Vasistha. Translated by Venkatasananda, Swami. Albany, State University of New York Press. ISBN 0 87395 955 8. OCLC 11044869. Robert Lingett. 1973. The Classical Law of India. University of California Press. ISBN 978-0-520-01898-3. Olivelle, Patrick Dharmasutras, The Law Codes of Ancient India, Oxford University Press, ISBN 978-0-19-283882-7. Patrick Olivelle Between the Empires, Society in India 300 BCE to 400 CE. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-977507-1. Atreya, B. L. The Philosophy of the Yoga Vashista. A Comparative Critical and Synthetic Survey of the Philosophical Ideas of Vashista as Presented in the Yoga Vashista Maharamayan. Based on a thesis approved for the degree of Doctor of Letters in the Banaras Hindu University. Maradabad, Darshana Printers. P. 467. Leslie, Julia. 2003. Authority and Meaning in Indian Religions, Hinduism and the Case of Valmiki. Ashgate Publishing, Ltd. ISBN 0 7546 3431 0. Atreya, B. L. The Vision and the Way of Vashista. Madras, Indian Heritage Trust. p. 583. OCLC 30508760. Selected verses, sorted by subject, in both Sanskrit and English text. Valmiki 2002 1982. The Essence of Yogavasishtha. Compiled by Sri Nyanananda Bharati, Transal, by Samvid. Chennai, Samadha Books. p. 344. Sanskrit and English text. Valmiki 1976. Yoga Vashista Sara, The Essence of Yoga Vashista. Trans. Swami Sarizananda. Taruvanamalai, Sri Ramanasramam. p. 29. OCLC 10560384. Very short condensation. 